Now let's go across to Europe. The lights are being dimmed and the heat is being dialed down. This is how Europe's harsh reality looks like. An unprecedented energy crisis has pushed the continent to its last resort. In Berlin, electricians pulled the fuses of some of the floodlights, leaving many monumental buildings almost without power. The decision has been taken for about 200 buildings across the capital. Germany, just like the rest of the world, is bracing itself for looming energy outages. Energy prices have already been high, but as winter approaches, it is expected to rise further. Aufgrund des Krieges gegen die Ukraine und der energiepolitischen Drohung Russlands ist es in Europa und Deutschland gerade extrem wichtig, dass wir so viel Energie einsparen wie möglich. Die öffentliche Hand muss da mit einem guten Beispiel vorangehen und das tun wir hier in Berlin, indem wir bei 200 äh, Gebäuden, die in unserer Verwaltung oder wo die Beleuchtung und Anstellung in unserer Verwaltung steht, jetzt die Anstrahlung erstmal beenden. Now this comes a day after EU countries approved a weakened emergency plan. The bloc decided to strike a compromise deal to limit cuts for some countries. It was being cautious with the fear of Moscow cutting supplies altogether. These de decisions are supposed to ease the impact. After all, Russian gas deliveries account for up to 60% of German industrial and private demand. The focus on Europe's energy crisis has mostly been on Germany and its pipelines. But reports show that much before Berlin, Paris might be the first European city to face the crisis. It is expected to suffer blackout as temperatures will drop by the end of the year. A long chilly winter awaits Europe, where temperatures sometimes drop to below zero degrees Celsius. This is a crisis created by the Ukraine-Russia war. Europe has levied crippling sanctions on Russia, a country that is responsible for keeping most homes in Europe well litted and warm. And Moscow understands this very well. Kremlin says that the sanctions are hindering maintenance of these pipelines. But experts warn that it is using this as a leverage to come back at the EU bloc. And with no respite in sight, Moscow's willingness is dwindling. At least that's what it is trying to portray.